It's only the third time that uh, Yorkshire and London have met in a final. Here come the teams. Chelsea on the left. And Leeds on the right. Chelsea in bright red. Tracks and tops. And Leeds in light blue. And what a tremendous welcome for them. Two of the greatest sides in modern British football deserving every cheer that they get. There are the two skippers, Ron Harris and Philly Bremner. Philly Bremner, Footballer of the Year. Led out by two of the most professional managers in this game. Dave Sexton. Oh, there's... Norman Hunter. The two managers, Dave Sexton, it's his first Wembley, he didn't get here as a player and he's not yet been here as a manager. And Don Revy, who came twice as a player with Manchester City, there's Don Revy on the right. And he's been here with Leeds in the FA Cup in 1965 when they were beaten by Liverpool. And again in 1968 in the League Cup when they beat the Arsenal. Two great managers who really deserve everything that comes their way this afternoon. This is Chelsea, of course. Let's give a Ronnie Harris, who has had a fortnight or so of anxiety, wondering whether his hamstring injury would clear up in time, but it has. And now Princess Margaret. This is Leeds. Princess Margaret coming out for the teams to be presented to her. Lord Harwood on the left, really in a dual role. Here's Princess Margaret again with Dr. Andrew Stephen, chairman of the Football Association. And Lord Harwood there as well, just out of picture on the left. First is the turn of Chelsea, with Ron Harris to make the introductions. Princess Margaret in a coat of dark green, meeting Marvin Hinton, the substitute, Eddie McCready at the end of the line, you'll see in a moment. That's one of his superstitions, there's John Dempsey and David Webb. At the end of the Chelsea line, Eddie McCready, who always insists on coming out last. Leeds United themselves are riddled with superstitions as well as the, uh, the Royal Highness, the Princess Margaret, now coming across to meet Footballer of the Year, Billy Bremner. Lord Harwood coming up at the back there, the President of Leeds. For once I would think the President of the FA hardly taking an impartial seat this afternoon. Gary Sprake in the fair here, they're talking to Dr Andrew Stephen. Dr. Stephen, of course, himself connected with a Yorkshire club, Sheffield Wednesday. And at the back there, Dennis Follow, secretary of the Football Association. Jack Charlton at the end of the Leeds line, that's his superstition, so McCready and Charlton make a good pair. I don't know what they'd do if they played in the same side. And Don Revy, of course, and now Eric Jennings, the referee from Stourbridge. His last season as a league referee, he's had 16 years of it, and he really is one of our top men. What a climax to his career. With the linesman, Mr Matthewson of Manchester, and Mr Jackson of Huntingdon, and Frank Ray.
now the next thing is that the two teams will break away to get some of the tension out of their muscles to prepare themselves for what is surely their most important match of the season neither side has won the cup Leeds have been here as I said in 1965 and they lost to Liverpool Chelsea were here in 1915 when they lost to Sheffield United and again in 1967 when they lost to Tottenham so whatever happens today providing the match is decided a new name will go on the cup Peter Osgood 28 goals to his credit this season and probably the biggest worry to Leeds there's the Chelsea side then without Alan Hudson it means that Tommy Baldwin comes in at seven and a slight shuffling there, which takes uh, Charlie Cook wearing the number 11 shirt. It'll mean that Hausman at number 8 will be playing not on the wing as we often see him, but as a very effective midfield player. It's Peter Bonetti. And Leeds United with Norman Hunter happily restored to the number six shirt having missed the last eight games with an injury, a knee injury Leeds then apart from Paul Madeley are at full strength with, apart from uh, Paul Reaney rather, are at full strength with Paul Madeley, number two coming into their defence. Alan Clark who was man of the match here in the final last year playing for Leicester City against Manchester City and Eddie Gray a young Scott made his first appearance for Scotland here, in fact, at Wembley last year. Johnny Giles will work in midfield with Bremner. This is where there is so much power in this Leeds United side and understanding between Giles and Bremner. Giles, of course, the ace penalty taker. And Big Jack. In fact, there's hardly a flutter in the flags, and so there's no advantage so far as the wind is concerned. It looks very much as though Ronnie Harris won the toss for Chelsea. A whole bevy of photographers now to be cleared from the pitch. And that'll be the camera that we're using from behind the goal, above the tunnel. Referee Eric Jennings, a grandfather, he's 47 years old, as I say, his last season on the Football League list. And it'll be Leeds then to get us away. All in white, Chelsea in blue with white stockings. Leeds with red stockings. And so the final of 1970 is underway. Jack Charlton. And this is McCready. Thought for a moment about putting it back to Bonetti, but Jones was advancing too quickly. Dempsey, the Irishman. Billy Bremner to Hunter and through to Peter Bonetti more than 450 appearances for Chelsea this fellow Johnny Giles and Cooper Hollins to Ware and back to, Dempsey, back to Bonetti from Dempsey Chelsea, of course, who've had a wonderful start in their last two rounds of the Cup against Queen's Park Rangers in the sixth round and Watford in the semi-final. Cook, still Cook, and now for Hausman, and he stopped, thinking that Maidley would get it. Maidley missed it, and Hausman found his fleeting chance had gone. Here's Cook, who almost set it up for Hausman. Gary Sprague.
Dempsey and Jones getting to this one and Dempsey getting head and shoulders above Jones Giles finding Eddie Gray Bremner and Lorimer's free on the right that's aimed towards Clark and he's got Harris with him Harris will be watching Clark good work by Clark and Horry's going right back for a very disturbing situation there for Chelsea and he did well John Hollins it needed somebody to take the initiative and Hollins was prepared to do it Lorimer with the throw Clark trying to come away from Harris Gray and Webb getting it only as far as Lorimer Bremner going outside Lorimer Finding Gray, flicked on by uh, Giles, and now Hunter. Now Osgood. But a throw then to Chelsea, who've scored 21 goals in the cup getting here, and Osgood has scored in every round. Jeff Astle in 1968 for West Bromwich Albion was the last man to do that. And Astle, of course, also scored in that final as well, the winning goal. Johnny Giles. Oh, a bad one there. Straight for Cook. Collins. Certain amount of hesitation there by Chelsea, and we don't normally see that. Collins, though, finding McCready. And Baldwin, Hutchinson going in, Osgood! And the ball again, not falling for Chelsea. Sprague being shadowed by Osgood. A push there, surely. By Baldwin on Gray. Don Revy. Muscles twitching and Les Cocker beside him, Sid Owen behind him. And Terry Cooper, such a good, accurate kicker of a dead ball, with the free kick. Clark's going for it, Clark almost getting ahead to it, but Webb getting it away to Hutchinson. Beaten by Giles, and now it's Cooper. Total Holland's out of the way there. Bremner driving forward with a shot. But neither the power nor the direction to cause Bonetti any anxiety. Bremner, of course, who scored that decisive goal in the semi-final that beat uh, Manchester United. And Peter Bonetti with the goal kick. Finding Hausman. McCready. Collins, Hausman, shadowed by Maidley, and Maidley getting in. A well-timed little challenge there by Maidley, who's played in every position for Leeds except goal, and turned down Mexico, of course, this week. Now Hutchinson with the first long throw of this cup final, a man whose long throws can cause such confusion. Webb well up, but he didn't get through. Jones and there's Hollins good ball there that finds Eddie Gray Clark well up Jones on this side of the field as Cooper takes it up again Eddie Gray with the throw for Leeds United. Clark again trying to get rid of that shadow. Harris Giles with a shot. Stopped well there by McCready. Hausman. Tremendous burden on Hausman's shoulders this afternoon with Hudson out of the side. The duty of doing so much work in midfield falls to him with Hollins, the number four here now. Hutchinson back to Baldwin. 
Hutchinson trying one two which never had any hope of coming off because Cooper was perfectly placed harassed unfairly by ball but in a free kick to Leeds United Tommy Baldwin who comes into this Chelsea side with Hudson out of it Clark taken well on his body but uh, he's going to have Harris snapping at his heels the whole time Bremner now Cook Osgood Bremner going in again very hard and very fairly as Giles brings it away Jones off in chase, Dempsey doing his job, there's nothing fanciful about uh, John Dempsey but he played it safe and properly Lorimer, Madeley well up Webb getting it away, not far, Madeley still there in the thick of it now Bremner, four leads United Lorimer free on the right challenged by Cook well back and Cook to bring it away Cook again McCready Deeds have had a week's rest of course and they look a totally different side that looks so lethargic so tired against Celtic ten days ago there's a sharpness about Leeds so far this afternoon as Hunter puts it forward again for them. Hausman to Harris. And now to Cook. Eddie McCready. Hutchinson. And a free kick in fact given for that to challenge by Jack Charlton. On Ian Hutchinson. And it's Eddie McCready, who had a little bit of a groin injury last Saturday, but recovered very quickly from it. The man who captained the side in the absence of Ron Harris, who's been injured. McCready with the kick. Very experienced spot for Chelsea. Hutchinson trying to get underneath it. Charlton, up well. Houseman, Hollins. That's aimed towards Baldwin, to flick it on, Osgood trying to advance on it, and again Charlton's there, and Hunter to put it back to uh, Sprake. Eddie Gray. Now Hunter. Collins backing off him, Jones very active ahead of him, Clark. That means Harris, but Clark again to Cooper. I one and Jones getting underneath this one. Bonetti losing it and grabbing it just before Lorimer could get a foot to it. He was put under a lot of pressure, Bonetti there. Now it's McCready. Hutchinson nicely turned inside for Osgood to Hausman, looking for Cook and played a little too far ahead of Cook, and so it's Cooper. Webb to pick up that one. Peter Lorimer. Leeds at the moment looking the more confident side. There's more sparkle about them than there is about Chelsea, certainly. Now it's Gray going past Webb. Clark in the middle, calling for it in the air. Played back towards Giles on the volley. And Lorimer and Benetti getting underneath it. the leads, Billy Bremner and Baldwin with a fair bit of space only Osgood up with him and four Leeds players are back still Tommy Baldwin and Osgood by determination getting it but not beating Charlton having a word too with uh, Paul Madeley about it as Eddie Gray takes it up for Leeds. 11 minutes gone, no score. And a free kick given to Leeds United against Webb on Gray. John Hollins. 
It's already quite clear that he and Hausmann have a lot to do in midfield. To check this Leeds United side coming forward is Giles with the free kick. Jack Charlton's gone right up for it as well, and Osgood's gone back with him. Lorimer with a shot. And now Hausmann to Hutchinson. And a, and a throw to Chelsea. And it's got to go back again. But a throw to be taken. Well, Bonetti has been put under pressure. A lot of pressure there with that uh, long cross. But he dropped. But quickly clutched again. Now it's McCready for Chelsea. But again, Leeds coming, driving forward. Johnny Giles. Lorimer with Jones outside him. Bremner. Faced by Hausman. Supported by Gray. And Giles really allowed to get to that ball before Cook, which he really shouldn't have been. Madeley to Lorimer. Clark at the far side, Jones at the far side, Bonetti, perfect handling. And a good long throw. But Osgood finding that Charlton is with him, clearly leads. A designated big Jack Charlton there to keep the closest possible watch on Osgood. And in fact, the free kick is given two leads. Cooper again to lift it into that Chelsea penalty area. Charlton has gone right up. Jack Charlton trying to get underneath it, but it's McCready. Now it's Madeley to pull it back in again. Clark offside. Oh, beautiful work by Benetti. But the linesman's flag was up on the far side. Benetti wasn't to know. From that header by Clark. Dempsey played first time and sensibly to Cook. Hausman's gone roaring on ahead. Hollins is waiting for the burst as well. Here's Hollins. Badly flicked there, aiming for Oscar but finding only Leeds United. And so it's Eddie Gray. Bremner to Maidley. Peter Lorimer. And Billy Bremner. Flicked on by Giles and away by Webb, but as well that he did because Jones was poised behind him. Now it's John Dempsey. Ball been off in pursuit and he flicked that in nicely and Hutchison going like a train for it. But beaten to it by Cooper. Gray. Lorimer, he'll play that to Bremner, and Bremner finding his ally in midfield, Johnny Giles, leaving it to Gray. Cook losing that challenge to Maidley, Maidley finding Lorimer, with a shot, oh good work there, by Bonetti! From the moment that Bailey shrugged off Cook and found Lorimer, the man with that really fearsome shot, Chelsea were in a bit of trouble. And Bonetti got him out of it brilliantly. Jack Charlton on the goal line. And Eddie Gray with a corner. Dempsey trying to get underneath it, but Bonetti getting there first. Throw that finds Cook. Hollins and Hausman's gone sprinting on. The linesman kept his flag down. Baldwin going in for one of those near post crosses and beautiful work there by Maidley. It needed to be good.
That really was a good near post cross by Hausman. And a good, brave dive there by Baldwin as well. Now right in the thick of it. Here's Hausman. And it's Cook with the corner for Chelsea. Giles. And a long one to find Jones. To Lorimer. Gray. Giles. And Peter Lorimer once more. That's coming back so quickly. Hollins, Harris, and Osgood to Peter Hausman. Chelsea picking it up a little bit now. Osgood with Hollins free outside him. Good long kick there by Hollins. And a little bit of hesitancy there in the Leeds defence. No one really wanted to go for it, and Cook was going hard for it, so Sprague had to in the end. Hausman to Osgood. And a little flick there to Baldwin. Cooper almost committing himself, but Baldwin finding Cook. There's a cross by Cook. Hutchinson with a header. Leeds having an eye very much on Osgood. Jack Charlton was keeping a close watch on Osgood. I think they intended to look at Osgood a little bit much and not perhaps enough at Hutchinson. <laughs> Cook. Giles. Leaving it for Bremner. Now Giles. Maidley. To Lorimer. Clark. Giles. Bremner alongside him. Still Billy Bremner. Down he goes. Play on, says the referee. No, he doesn't. Thought for a moment that he hadn't given that, but he had and he had to. And so a free kick to lead just outside that Chelsea penalty area. Played quickly to Lorimer. Almost before Chelsea were aware of it. Certainly Webb was, and it was as fortunate for Chelsea that they were. Dempsey. Now Hutchinson. Charlton herring back for all he's worth. Still Hutchinson. Now Hunter is facing him. Hausman. McCready. A little flick there, but well taken from David Webb. Jones for once getting above McCready. Eddie Gray. The game really opening out a bit now. Giles. Clark. To Lorimer. A long one that Jones will go for. Dempsey's underneath it as well. Finally, it just flicks off the top of Dempsey's head. Enough to give Leeds United the corner. Jackie Charlton up on that goal line again. And Eddie Gray with the corner. Bremner right up too. The same towards Jack Charlton. Kick. No, it's a goal! Jack Charlton in fact got ahead to it. And a Chelsea player, John Hollins, I think it was, missed the ball on the goal line. And it couldn't have gone more than a yard over the line. minutes gone, leads a goal ahead. Now Cooper. Well, that really is a terrible blow for Chelsea.
So another free kick then to Leeds United. It really is up to Chelsea now to fight their way out of this awkward position as Hunter to Clark. And Gray. Hutchinson, Baldwin, Lines has put his flag up for a free kick I think to Chelsea, given against Norman Hunter, the referee Eric Jennings having a word with Hunter, and with Osgood, and there's a smile there too. David Webb with the kick for Chelsea. Eddie Gray to Johnny Giles Bremner and Webb Jones going in but Dempsey again getting there first Gray with a throw. Clark. And Gray putting it across again. Hausman not quite getting to it. Bremner. And now Hausman. Oh, beaten there by Bremner who finds Jones. But the referee not liking the way that Bremner beat Hausman. And so Chelsea get the free kick. Peter Lorimer. Maidley has gone storming down that right for Leeds United. Very dangerous indeed for Chelsea. Clark trying to get to it. Gray! A comment now from Jimmy Hill. Well, Chelsea obviously have been suffering from Wembley nerves, and there's no question about it that that affected them. And if they didn't conquer them after 15 minutes, then they were going to lose a goal, and they paid that penalty. And it showed up so clearly in the way they gave away that goal. Two of them could have kicked it off the line, and they didn't. Their knees were knocking, and they let it go in pass. But Leeds, meantime, have settled into a very, very impressive rhythm so far. John Hollins with a throw for Chelsea. And now Johnny Giles. Clark finding Jones. Still Jones. And a goal kick. Don Revy, no doubt happy to be a goal up. But a darn sight happier if they can hold that to the end, I would think. Revy, of course, who has tremendous respect for this Chelsea side, so he will know that it's by no means over yet. Hutchinson to McCready. Osgood looking for it, beating Jack Charlton in the air. Hutchinson, by sheer determination, getting to that before Bremner. But Jack Charlton and Cook having a tussle and Cook winning that one. Hausman with a very slack ball indeed. And now Eddie Gray. Mick Jones to Terry Cooper and Dempsey Giles back to Gray and Harris getting there before Clark 
And now Tommy Baldwin. Hutchinson off in chase and Hunter shadowing him. Good play there by Norman Hunter for Leeds. To Giles with Leeds at the moment looking by far the better side. Baldwin. Osgood. Now a challenging run. Will he take on Jack Charlton? Bremner is buzzing behind him. But it's Hollins with Cook closing in at the far post. Hausman with a header but he didn't really get any power behind it. Gary Sprake, who really hasn't been troubled so far in these opening 26 minutes, with Leeds leading by a goal to nil. Jones beating Dempsey in the air. Jones to Lorimer. A long, searching ball to look out Gray. Webb is with him. Eddie Gray. Oh, and he's gone past Webb again. And again, Eddie Gray. Now Hollins, and a shot! Which in fact looked better than it was, I think, and it angered his uh, teammates in the middle. Lorimer and Jones were wanting something aimed towards them. Hausman. Very strong block tackle there between Hollins and Lorimer, and Lorimer won it. And now it's Giles. Lorimer. With a shot. But I think that was perhaps a little too ambitious even for a man with his power of shot, Peter Lorimer. Chelsea's throw. And now Leeds United's throw with Bremner keeping such a close watch on Hutchinson. Here's Billy Bremner. Giles. Jones to Lorimer. Hausman to Osgood. Now to Hutchinson, with Baldwin outside, a little flick that finds Hollins. Greedy free up the left, and that's the one he's played. Same towards Hutchinson, but I don't think he'll get ahead there before Cooper. And now Mick Jones. To Lorimer. Always seem to be so much more room when Leeds United are coming forward than there are than there is when Chelsea come forward. And now it's Bremner. And there's another gap for Maidley. Turn in low and away by Webb. But only as far as Bremner again. Faced by Cook. Baldwin closing in on it. Hollins to Hausman. And now a good pass there for Hutchinson. Oscar in the middle and Cooper's come across to take it. He wants it in the air. And Osgood going in, but Spring always in command. In fact, Chelsea's football has that same ponderous look about it that it had for the first half of their semi-final when they were held to 1-1 against Watford. They really exploded in the second half, and at the moment they're leaving themselves a fair bit to do from now on, with half an hour gone, and leads this one goal to nil into the lead, scored by Jackie Charlton. Osgood to Harris Hollins has gone well forward and he's found Cook and Cook in turn can he further no he can't can Hausman couldn't quite race onto that one Cooper to Bremner Webb Finding Hausman. To Cook. Still Cook. To Osgood. With a shot. 
and Sprake covering it, although it was bouncing a bit awkwardly on that uncertain turf. Sprake, body behind it. Lorema to Jones. And now to Giles. Gray, and he's beaten Webb again. Webb's having quite a difficult afternoon there against Eddie Gray. Dempsey to McCready. Hausman. A long one to set Baldwin off in chase. Cooper covering. Can Baldwin get behind them and Sprake eventually hacking that one away. Webb. Baldwin. And now McCready. Played nicely there for Cook. Hutchinson wanted at the far side and a bad one there by Cook. He won't be at all pleased with that one, Charlie Cook. He had so much room. And neither, I suppose, will this man, Dave Sexton. Marvin Hinton, the substitute there with him. In the Scottish Cup final, we understand that Aberdeen are leading Celtic by a goal to nil, scored by Harper from the penalty spot after 27 minutes. Aberdeen won Celtic nil in the Scottish Cup final. Now Bremner. Jones. Watched very closely again by Dempsey. Bremner always available on the edge of that Chelsea penalty area when a move looks like breaking down. It's Bremner again. Giles to Bremner and still leads. Have this sharpness. Clark. Harris playing the ball from behind says referee Jennings and so it's a throw and not a free kick Clark is pained and Bremner brought down as Hollins and Hausman between them try to get that ball away free kick then to Leeds United in a position where Johnny Giles can float one and that means that Jack Charlton has gone up again but he didn't float that one very well perhaps he'll do better with this one Charlton trying to get underneath it. Jones is well there too. Hutchinson right back. Hunter. Dempsey rising well again. We're playing that too far ahead for McCready. Baldwin. Lorimer again. Clark, Gray and Jones in the middle. That's going towards Clark and Bonetti had to use his fists. Harris the skipper. Madely beaten by the bad bounce on this pitch. But a good pass there that finds Gray. Gray with determination that Chelsea so far really haven't been showing. Osgood to Hollins. Peter Hausman. And Hutchinson going for this one, but Jack Charlton getting ahead there before him. Osgood. And Bremner going in hard on him. But Osgood finding Baldwin. And a corner to Chelsea. Off Terry Cooper. Well, that may put this fellow under a little bit of pressure now. Gary Sprake. John Dempsey's gone right forward. Osgood number nine is there. Tommy Baldwin on the goal line. Lacking the inches of Jack Charlton, but he can still make a bit of a nuisance of himself there. There you see number five. John Dempsey right up for this corner from Peter Hausman. Osgood and Hutchinson trying to get underneath it, and Sprake, superb handling again by Gary Sprake for Leeds. Billy Bremner. Oh, 
Giles to Gray and now to Cooper what a good burst there by Cooper and plenty of white shirts up for him and McCready to head it away only as far as Hunter Leeds really pressurizing Chelsea with a number of men there pushing forward now Giles and it's mainly who's gone in on the blind side or rather Hunter and a corner then to Leeds Charlton where he's done so much damage already for Leeds on that goal line again making life awkward for Benetti because Osgood has to come right back so it's two men there shielding Benetti's view Jones leaping under it Maidley hoping to pounce on it and in fact does very well Clark and finally Hollins Hutchinson Hollins is Cook Hausman calling for the ball but the ball goes through in fact to John Hollins floating it towards Hutchinson gets ahead to it to Osgood with a shot no off the line by Jack Charlton at one end it went in from a similar sort of situation and from the other end it was hooked off by Jack Charlton and that is the closest that Chelsea have been to a goal this afternoon Maybe that'll give him heart. Hollins. Osgood right up there. It was his devastating shot through that pack defence that almost got Leeds caught. Long ball there from Lorimer for Clark to chase, but it's a throw to Chelsea. Well, he did very well there, Jack Charlton. He scored the goal for Leeds so far, and he saved the equaliser for them just that moment ago. Collins. Now Osgood. Finding Cook. Baldwin is waiting there in the middle. Still Cook with all the skills and not quite the power. One of the facts that were fed into the computer to enable it to make his prediction was that Leeds had more players with big match experience and I think that it's that feature that's telling off more than any other in this first half. Without any doubt they have settled, they look, they are playing their normal game and Chelsea up until now have not. Dempsey finding Hausman. Dempsey who's missed so little in the air at the back for Chelsea this afternoon. Lorimer a long one forward but a fairly hopeful one because Harris is there Benetti is with him and my goodness Harris just that little bit edgy just the sort of thing that Jimmy Hill was talking about almost giving away the corner Baldwin finding way Hunter to Giles Once Leeds United get their noses in front, they really become such a difficult side to beat, and Chelsea are finding that for sure now, but there's a free kick for them. Given against Jack Charlton on Osgood, coming in behind Osgood, without really very much hope of playing the ball. And so referee Eric Jennings gives the free kick, which Harris takes. McCready. Hutchinson trying to flick it, back head it. It's gone to uh, Hausman with a shot, and a goal! Oh, a terrible mistake there by Sprague! And Hausman has scored the softest of equalisers. Mick Jones falls to his knees in despair. 1-1. What a tragedy for Sprague. Well, there it is now. There's the shot, and you can see Gary Sprake going down. He looks to have it covered, but it's another soft goal, the second in this final. And looking at that again in slow motion, absolutely reminiscent of one of Wembley's greatest and uh, most controversial goals, the one that won the Cup for Cardiff in 1927 when they beat the Arsenal. And there's Osgood and Hunter having a right flick up there in the middle of the field.
Hutchinson there was involved. And now Baldwin. And now Bremner. And Clark going on ahead and McCready getting it away. Hunter not very popular at the moment with the Chelsea fans, but it's now it's Eddie Gray. Giles. Cooper. Showing tremendous tenacity. Still Cooper! And now, can it go through to Giles? And no, it's Webb, in fact. Happy to put that one away for a corner. That was a very good run there by Cooper. He used to be a winger, of course, and he showed all a winger's tenacity there and courage. Osgood to get it away, but only as far as Cooper. Clark flicking it on, and McCready this time getting it away. To Hutchinson, as this club final really comes to life now. Baldwin to take it up for Chelsea. Cook made a good run, which nobody noticed. And it's Sprague. Poor Sprague, how he must be feeling. Dave Sexton, no doubt, very relieved to see that soft goal bringing Chelsea level. Hausman. And now Osgood. Trying to figure it off from Baldwin, and Hunter was covering him, and now Madeley. Eddie Gray. Clark is free over on the left. Still Eddie Gray, good work by Gray, and superb saving again by Peter Bonetti. Bonetti not very happy with the covering he was getting from that defence. But Gray coming forward there looked irresistible. So a corner then to Leeds United. Charlton faithfully gone forward again. There he is, and Osgood number nine back with him. Quite a little clutch at that near post. Gray. And Gray again. Floating one here towards Maidley. But Dempsey getting his head to it for Chelsea. And again doing the safe thing. Paul Maitley. Gray trying to get underneath it, flicking it on. Webb getting a foot there well for Chelsea. They seem to have sharpened up and been given fresh heart with that equalising goal from Hausman. 1-1 as we stand now with just half a minute to go, plus a little bit of injury time to the end of this first half. Again, Dempsey getting up, but both he and Jones missing that one. Webb. Hutchinson, surely shouldered off the ball unfairly there by Hunter, and in fact the whistle has gone for a free kick to Chelsea. Much relieved Chelsea skipper, and John Dempsey with the free kick for Chelsea. Hutchinson flicking it on, beating Jack Charlton. Baldwin is right there as well. And so is Cooper. Gray then to bring it away for Leeds. Johnny Giles for Eddie Gray. Hollins closing fast on him from the back. Giving away the free kick? No, it's half time. So half time. Which shows the team's level at 1 1. With Jack Charlton having scored a soft one, and Peter Hausman, here he is, number eight, equalising for Chelsea. As the bands come on and the players go off, Jack Charlton, the scorer, for Leeds. Chelsea coming out again. And, of course, their history over this last season 
has shown that so much of their best work has come in the second half of the game. That was certainly the case in the last three rounds of the cup against Crystal Palace, QPR and Watford. But Leeds are nothing if not professional to their fingertips, and this man particularly, uh, Billy Bremner. Leeds, of course, have beaten Chelsea twice in the league this season. 2-0 at Leeds, 5-2 at Stamford Bridge. And Chelsea got their own back by winning in the League Cup. Eddie Gray, who really has given uh, David Webb, the Chelsea number two, a really tormenting first half with some superb close control and acceleration in the right moments. And so it'll be Chelsea then to kick off this second half. Standing at 1-1. No, 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 Ian Hutchinson, who will get the game away. And now it's Hollins. Hunter right back and Baldwin going on. And Cooper getting it away for Leeds. To Jones. Oh, Jones has had ten minutes of rest from... Uh, Dempsey at his back the whole time and that was Dempsey letting Jones know that he was there again but in fact uh, Eric Jennings just going along to have a quiet word there with Dempsey a good piece of refereeing there not making any fuss about it but getting his point home just the same and it's Cooper then with the free kick for Leeds Giles to flick it on getting there a fraction before Hollins but Dempsey again winning that battle in the air with Jones Baldwin, good play, beating Cooper. And a flick on for Osgood. And he's got Hutchinson outside him. Housman in, the, Housman in the middle. And bad work there by Ian Hutchinson. He had a combination of a new Chelsea player there, Housgood. If you can find one that can combine the qualities of Peter Osgood and Peter Housman, then you've got yourself a fair player. This is Ian Hutchinson, though. And Sprake now, with the sun coming out quite strongly, and needing that hat. Hollins, Osgood, and Hunter. Jones. Got McCready and Dempsey watching him pretty closely. And now it's Lorimer. Maidley. To Gray, a first time flick on, and Clark getting his head to it first. Maidley, but the ball wouldn't bounce. But Maidley again, this time for Gray. Five Chelsea defenders back, but it's still Gray, and Bonetti did very well there. That was a fine save by Bonetti. That's three great saves he's brought off today. And again, it's emphasizing what a danger this fellow Eddie Gray can be to Chelsea. Giles and Webb delaying that clearance just a little bit and so it's Cooper with the throw Hunter Jones still trying to beat Dempsey but Dempsey a very good and physical player now Jack Charlton and again, Dempsey gets in there, hard from the back and too hard. Again, for the, right, for the liking of referee Eric Jennings. And another free kick then to Leeds. Dempsey and Jones having such a battle, and such a vital battle. And Giles now floating one there, Bonetti must go for it. Went with his fist because Clark and Jack Charlton were closing in. Lorimer. And McCready getting in positively, but the throw given to Leeds. Giles always 
busy and making himself available. That was a little slack, that back uh, heel there. But Hunter, Clark trying to get underneath it. Playing it now for Giles with a shot. Republic of Ireland International of long-standing Johnny Giles. Superb experienced player. Played here, of course, in 1963 for Manchester United when they beat Leicester. Hollins, a slack one. Thinking that it fell against Hunter's hand, but the referee said no, it fell against his chest, and so it's Jones to Bremner. Long one to look for Gray. What's he going to do this time? Webb backing away. Webb half thinking that he saw his chance, but it's still Eddie Gray. Now faced with Baldwin, and now Cooper. Hollins not getting it away very far. Webb following it out for Cook. Now Cook with acceleration, but he can't quite get past Maidley. He's got Houseman to help him, and Osgood in the middle. And Hutchinson too, getting his head to it. Two years ago, playing in Southern League football with Cambridge United, and he cost Chelsea £5,000. And there really isn't a bigger hustler or a braver player in the first division than this number 10, Ian Hutchinson. Lorimer to Jones. Another throw to Leeds. No, in fact, it's a free kick. With a foul on Mick Jones, although he's been beaten so often by Dempsey, Jones is still very active across that forward line. Lorimer with a kick and a low and a hard one that look for Clark. And Clark getting ahead to it, and so too does Dempsey Maidley. And Gray, but missing his kick when most he wanted to strike it properly. Hutchinson, Cook, losing it to a combination of Bremner and Cooper, and it's not surprising. Gray, Webb and Baldwin closing in every time Gray gets the ball. They need two men now to watch him, and it's Bremner. And Hausman getting to that one, but straight to Giles. Dempsey. And Osgood well back. McCready finding Houseman. And Hollins bursting through, but he won't get to it. Because that supreme cover at the back. Norman Hunter was there. Don Revy wanting someone to move a little further forward. Now Gray again. And again, two Chelsea men to watch him. And again, Gray goes on and Webb. And then it's Harris who finally have to come away. And Gray causing enough confusion to get the corner for Leeds. Our experts had this slight doubt about Leeds, whether they had enough individual flair in their forward line. Well, Eddie Gray has had all the flair this afternoon that anybody could want, and now it's the corner. And the ball falling for Baldwin, getting caught there on the turf, though. Still Tommy Baldwin. He's got to hold it because there's nobody really running into the right position. McCready going outside him, Houseman and Hollins inside him. Here's Hollins. It's a good dogged piece of work there by Baldwin. Hollins to Baldwin again, first time to Osgood. And now to Hutchinson. Still Hutchinson. Oh, and he almost turned that pass, he might still do it. Houseman again. Remner taking him, still Houseman. Finding Hutchinson. Oh, good work by Spring. Oh, good. Off the line. Oh, what tremendous excitement. Wonderful covering by Leeds United and disappointment on the Chelsea bench. And nothing like the disappointment there on the Chelsea side, I would have thought. And Gray has taken a knock, 
And Les Cocker comes off. The Prime Minister sitting back and enjoying it. Of course, he's had a good uh, season, the Prime Minister, with Huddersfield having uh, one promotion. Lord Harwood, and on his left, Brian Mears, the Chelsea chairman, or rather on his right, the left of our picture. Well, Hutchinson has taken his little bit of treatment from Harry Medhurst. Jimmy Hill. Well, that was an amazing spectacle in that goal mouth, and I think it pointed the part that uh, Ian Hutchinson plays in the Chel Chelsea side, his tremendous bravery there, and the way in which when he gets the side of that goal, nothing stops him trying to get his shot in, and he did it very well. But it showed also the Leeds covering. Um, if only Peter Osgood could get back to his normal game alongside Hutchinson, then I think that would turn the game for Chelsea. Giles to Gray. Clark again being watched by Harris. Those two men at the back, Dempsey and Harris, have done a good job so far for Chelsea, but now it's Eddie Gray again. Webb almost mesmerised by him, and now it's Giles. And at the far side, it's Lorimer getting it well. James! Good work by Benetti! And Bremner following it in. Wonderful goalkeeping again by Peter Benetti. Cook to Baldwin. And now Cooper. Cooper again. Oh, he beat Cook and Hutchinson there as though they didn't exist. Giles. Developing now into a really magnificent cup final, this. These sides so well balanced. So full of skill and running and flair as well. Rick Jones, watched by his shadow Dempsey. Giles. And Clark. And now Cook. Charlton to Alan Clark. And now Giles. It's Peter Lorimer. Jones has gone again bravely or willingly down that touchline and Dempsey faithfully has gone with him. Clark looking to get under this one. Clark again beating Harris completely in the air. But Bonetti really is taking some beating this afternoon now. Alan Clark, he really got above uh, Ronnie Harris. There's Harris with him. But now it's Osgood away for Chelsea. Flicked that side for Hausman. Going past Hunter. Good work by Hausman. Can Osgood close in on it? He can't. And it was mainly finding Cooper. What a match this is turning out to be now. As Lorimer takes it up again for Leeds United. Now Paul Maidley. And Gray finding Giles. Still Giles, but far too high. What a game Bonetti's had. There must have been five or six really world-class saves under pressure. And yet, curiously, you have this one soft goal against Chelsea, one soft goal against Leeds, and a score 1-1. Hutchinson flicking that nicely on for Baldwin. Baldwin there beating Cooper. Osgood screaming for the ball and finally getting it played nicely for Hollins. Cook at the far side and Leeds are there in force. Giles supporting them and Bremner. Again, good defensive work by Leeds United. 
Giles now to Gray. Jones. Even on the halfway line, he has Dempsey with him. Giles to Jones. Bremner played for Lorimer. Long cross there from Lorimer. Clark's going in on it. Bonetti too. Oscar. And a throw to Leeds United. Jones getting it first, can Clark get a foot to it, he finds Gray. Now we really must try and stop him. Gray across the face of that goal. And Gray continues to cause tremendous confusion and consternation in that Chelsea defence. David Webb there just behind him. Poor David Webb, he's really having it uh, very hard this afternoon trying to check Eddie Gray, who's having a truly wonderful game for Leeds. Oh, caught dummying Bremner superbly there. Hausman losing out. Osgood beating Gray. Cooper following it in. Such a tremendous spirit of adventure and aggression in Wembley this afternoon as Gray takes it up again now for Leeds United. Webb wondering which way he's going. Lorimer, stopped by Dempsey and as well that he did. Hausman, measuring the pass to find Hutchinson. Play on, says the referee, and Clark is quite happy to do it. Jones going for it, Dempsey going with him. Dempsey and Webb between them in danger of upsetting each other. doing a great Jones brought down play on says the referee not for one moment would he consider a penalty there and it's a throw to Chelsea well, without any doubt now Leeds are looking the great side that they've proven themselves to be by their results over the past few years they're really in command and Chelsea are looking like boxers, all of them just about to go down for the count. And now of course it'll be more pressure on Chelsea. As Leeds pump another free kick towards Bonetti who's been brilliant. Bonetti waiting for it. There's Jack Charlton planting it towards him, and Bonetti gathers it again. Hollins to David Webb. Baldwin couldn't quite jump to it. And so it's Hunter to Maidley. Eighteen minutes of the second half gone and still 1-1. One, one. And Cooper working well there with Eddie Gray. Good play by Leeds. Cooper. And Dempsey sticking that long leg of his out at exactly the right move. But a corner then to Leeds. Keeping up this pressure on Chelsea. It's 
Jimmy Hill said, still looking the better side, Leeds United, and Jack Charlton's gone right up there to make life that much more difficult for this fellow, Peter Bonetti. There's Lorimer's corner, Jack Charlton trying to get to it, Jones trying to get to it. Chelsea claiming that there was a fair bit of pushing on Bonetti. But referee Jennings say a corner now on the other side, which Eddie Gray is going to take for Leeds. Jack Charlton staying up. There's the position right from the goal line there, with Jack Charlton right ahead of Peter Bonetti. And Clark, Bremner, Jones are all poised there as well. Bonetti losing out on it, Webb to nod it away. Jones, good play by Mick Jones. Turn back again and it's Osgood right back to get it away. Hunter. Giles. Jones and Clark between them getting it. Jack Charlton and a cannon off Osgood for another corner. Leeds now really dominating the second half. Jack Charlton right there again. Eddie McCready at the near post. Here comes the corner. And Benetti this time punching it away. The first time he's really tried to punch it away and it succeeded for him. Slack pass there that might have uh, given Chelsea a bit of uh, a breather, but in fact it's Leeds through Cooper. Gray to Lorimer. And Webb letting that one go through to Peter Bonetti. Osgood, too slow, much too slow. And so it's Hunter. Jones. Hunter again. And Giles to turn another of those long ones in to look towards Clark. And now it comes through to Gray. And now to Cooper! And still the comradeship of professionals there, Webb and Cooper. Terry Cooper, of course, who scored in a cup final at Wembley, the goal that won the League Cup for Leeds against Arsenal two years ago. over for a throw well Dave Sexton's another of these managers who uh, never shows his feelings but I would think he must be a little perturbed by the amount of pressure that Leeds are putting on his side and the fact that Chelsea so far don't seem to be able to get the sparkle that has brought them to him now it's Gray again to torment them some more play on says the referee and Harris comes away with it for Chelsea Baldwin to Hutchinson. But the white shirts are coming back thick and fast. Baldwin gets it across and Jack Charlton right back there to get a foot to it. But Baldwin again. And now Cooper. Played coolly there for Giles. Clark to Giles. Gray. Tormenting Webb some more. Still Eddie Gray. And now nicely there for Lorimer with a shot! yard or so uh, lower and Peter Bonetti would really have had to have been at his best to have kept that one out but how brilliantly that was set up for Lorimer by Eddie Gray that's Lorimer and again a Chelsea header this time goes to the wrong man and sandwiched there on Cooper 
by Baldwin and Hutchinson. Billy Bremner then to float the free kick. Jack Charlton's gone up again. Oh, and McCready getting in Webb's way, and so it's Gray. Now for Lorimer to burst another one. And Clark to head it. Bonetti under pressure again, away with his fists. Giles to put it in, Webb away. And now Cook. Just over 20 minutes to go, and somebody is down injured in that Chelsea penalty area. It's Mick Jones. Hausman to Hollins. He really does seem to be out cold, but the game goes on. And now Baldwin couldn't quite get that one. In fact, he just flicked the top of Cooper's head. Hausman going in, and Oscar too, and Spring. And finally, the whistle's gone for Jones to get a little bit of treatment. He's walking off the pitch. And if he walks off the pitch, then the referee has no option but to get on with the game. Which was good and sporting by Mick Jones, that's to... Uh, that's for sure. Whatever he says, I don't think Chelsea want to play on. They're sitting on the ball and want to rest. And that, I think, is uh, significant about the pitch today. I think it's been a wonderful game on the ground, but it's obviously taking its toll of the players, and it is affecting them, slowing down the pace here and there. But I must agree with you, Brian, and pay tribute to a wonderful game by Eddie Gray. And I'm wondering whether the fact that he hasn't been in the first team uh, for every match this season isn't to his advantage as the season draws to its close. He may have a little best, a little left rather than anybody else. His football is absolutely superb. He's got class and all the football skills and it's really a pleasure to see him play on a day like this. Well, Lorimer in a little bit of trouble, that's really why we've been held up and uh, Harry Medhurst, the Chelsea trainer, has come on to see him. Eddie McCready prepared to take a rest. Of course, they've had 100 tonnes of sand on this pitch. And the players were saying when they inspected it, when you uh, step on it, you sink in a few inches. And as the game goes on, of course, it's all down to stamina. Well, both Mick Jones and Peter Lorimer are all right again. Giles from that uh, situation, and now it's Gray again, as Jimmy Hill said, having a really tremendous game. Webb again trying to stop him, and Gray flicking it almost nonchalantly outside him. Cooper coming up again. Notice all well, the ball wins right back there again. Now Cooper to turn it in. Clark trying to get ahead to it, and this time it comes through to Giles who is always waiting there for something to fall his way on the edge of the penalty area, Johnny Giles. Quietly getting through a very good game indeed for Leeds, with some good accurate crosses into a crowded penalty area, Giles. So Peter Bonetti then with this goal kick for Chelsea. Jones, Jones again, finding Gray, and Leeds sensibly playing as much as they possibly can to Gray, Webb and Baldwin there, finding Jones, Gray again looking for Clark, bit of a scramble going on there, play on says the referee, and finally it comes through to Cook, now he's got Hutchinson along the left, here's Hutchinson with Charlton closing in on him, and again, Chelsea unable to find any sort of rhythm at all. Just over a quarter of an hour now to go. Harrison hard on Clark from the back. And the free kick has been given. And it'll probably be Giles who 
There's the score as we stand. Uh, with something like 17 minutes to go then. And Lorimer to take the free kick for Leeds United. Bonetti, superb judgment again in goal. Finding Cook. Harris. And Maidley beating Osgood. Well, he's not really having the day that he would have wanted to have had Peter Osgood with 28 goals behind him this season. Now it's Hausman, scorer of the Chelsea goal, 1-1. Webb and Cook to Hausman. Cook is going outside and that gives Hausman just a little bit of room there. Baldwin trying to pick it on, almost getting it in! Spike very late indeed going on that one. That's so very nearly crept in. Cooper now for Leeds. A few thousand Leeds United hearts stopped there without any doubt. Billy Bremner. And how grossly unfair it would have been if Chelsea had gone ahead there after all the good work that Leeds have done, but it's still 1-1. Gray, pass one, pass two, Eddie Gray. And Hollins getting in, and Harris finally putting it away. Lorimer. Clark trying to get underneath it. Bonetti. And now Hausman. Hutchinson. Cooper. And Hutchinson beating Cooper, but has he got the stamina or the speed? Hausman to Hollins. And now McCready. Osgood flicking it on, and Hutchinson was ready to pounce, but it wouldn't come to him. Instead, it's Giles to Clark, and now to Gray. What a good ball, not only is he dribbling past players, but he's really playing some good, long, sweet balls as well, Is Gray. And now Bremner to take it up once more for Leeds United, playing it wide for Lorimer, Jones and Clark, that twin spearhead in the middle. Jones getting up, and Hollins to get it away. Got up well there, Mick Jones. But Gray... Now Cook to Hollins. To Cook again. Both men determined to get that ball and finally it's Cook and now Hollins to Osgood. But the covering again is good for Leeds. But a throw to Chelsea. Hollins with it, who throws quite a long one himself, although he isn't a very big fella. And that's aimed towards Hutchinson. And he won't stop it going for a goal kick. Slight sign of tiredness there, the way Hutchinson lifted his foot for that ball, uh, getting near the end of the game, but he's had a wonderful afternoon and he's fought very bravely all the while against this Leeds defence. Yes, there was such a, a question mark against the stamina of Leeds United after their tremendous season, something like 60 games, but in fact, all the way through, they've looked the sharper side. Baldwin, but it's still 1-1, of course. Osgood. Trying to play it far too delicately, I would have thought, on this sort of pitch. Lorimer. Twelve minutes to go. Jones. To Clark. And Lorimer, not dummying McGreedy so much as himself and letting the ball go into touch. For a throw then to Chelsea. Oh, 
Harris and Bremner getting into a tangle there, but Clark bringing it away. The referee deciding that uh, the play should go on. Dempsey, but only as far as Giles. And now to Gray. The real scourge of Chelsea. And against the crossbar! And they didn't even get a corner for it. What a tremendous afternoon this man's having. Remember, he's not having much luck with crossbars. He hit the crossbar against Celtic, and now he's hit it against Chelsea. And here he is again. There can't be any doubt of the man of the matches. Whatever the result, it's got to be Gray. And now, Bonetti to take that one from Bremner. Collins to Hutchinson, to Osgood. Played wide towards Cook. And we haven't seen too much of Charlie Cook. Trying to play it there for Hausman. Peter Hausman! And a weak one there by Hausman. And Hutchinson behind him, obviously wanting the, the pass. Not at all happy with what Hausman did there. So Hutchinson then goes back to challenge Lorimer. Now ten minutes to go. Lorimer slipping everybody on the right, but I don't think he'll keep it in. And so a throw to Chelsea. Clark. And Webb. And Osgood to Baldwin. And Cooper to bring it away for Leeds United. Eddie Gray. Cook can't stop him. Bremner played nicely there for Cooper. Will he drive one? And now Hollins. Playing it for safety, but finding Baldwin, who took that well on his body. He's not at all a bad game, Tommy Baldwin. Now Hollins to Hausman, who has just lacked that yard in pace, I think, more than anything else in the middle of the field, to do something really decisive. Now it's Hollins. Leeds have had so much of this second half. Cook played there for Baldwin. But Hunter getting in first. I remember on our cup final programme last year, Malcolm Allison described these last ten minutes as the period of fear when nobody wants to make a mistake. And that's the period we've reached now. One mistake could well be enough. Madeley to Giles. Lorimer faithfully outside him and McCreed has got to go. Giles free again, first time and a good ball towards Clark. And the fleeting chances that are coming into this second half are all coming at the Chelsea end of the field. Chelsea themselves really haven't made a chance this second half. Although they very nearly scored that goal when Sprague was laid down on one. Here's Benetti again with the goal kick. Hutchinson as brave and as bold as ever, finding Cook. Hollins to Baldwin. That's one aimed towards Osgood, but Jack Charlton just ahead of him all the time. Lorimer to Giles. And now to Billy Bremner. a good run here by Giles as well got it in first time towards Clark against the post how unlucky can you get Jones a goal Nick Jones 2-1 and Sprake is jumping for joy at the other end as well
this was started by a superb ball from Billy Bremner that you see there, beautifully judged, a first time one over, they hit the post, and then you can see how cleverly there Lorimer holds off Dempsey to enable Jones to come in and take that shot. So now the time really is running out for Chelsea. Just six minutes to go. And in all honesty, they've shown so little in this second half, which prompts very much hope amongst their supporters now. David Webb. And Hollins with the throw for Chelsea. Hutchinson to Webb. And now Chelsea really have got to plunge more men forward to try and put some pressure on Leeds. McCready. Bremner. They're certainly going to take some beating now, Leeds United. Maidley and Clark, but coming through to McCready. And now it's Cook. Hollins calling for it, and Hollins getting it. Harris. Signs now that Chelsea are coming forward in numbers a little more. Harris coming forward, and here's Osgood. But he can't shake off Charlton, and the free kick is given for Charlton obstructing Osgood. Yes, Don Revy looking at that watch. Every minute seeming like an hour to him, I would think. Hollins to curl it in again. Hutchinson! A goal! By Ian Hutchinson! And Leeds United prostrate on the deck. Lorimer is down. Bremner is down. Jones is down. Superb goal by Ian Hutchinson. Well, there it is, yet another goal from a free kick out there, without any doubt. And here it is, Hutchinson has had such a fine game, comes in and wins it beautifully on the near post, and Sprake had no chance with that one at all. What a tremendous climax now, with a little over two minutes to go. Osgood with Hausman outside him. That's for Hausman. Hutchinson in the middle again. Hutchinson going in and almost turning it past break. What a really remarkable comeback now by Chelsea. McCready long and hard. Back to Bonetti and McCready is down injured. And Bonetti throwing the ball into touch to give the referee a chance to call on Harry Medhurst, the Chelsea trainer. Well, I can't help refer to the fact that at this point of time the computer is dead right and if we're going to believe it up to now it says that uh, the winning goal is going to be scored in extra time by Leeds without any doubt. Uh, it's been a wonderful game, a simply superb game here with the atmosphere building up, brave play on both sides. I feel that because Chelsea got down for the first time, they really made up their minds to come out and attack then and immediately were rewarded with that goal. And it was fittingly scored by Ian Hutchinson, who's had a very good game indeed for Chelsea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him ahead of Peter Benetti, but on the other hand of the, the out players, I think he's fought as bravely as anybody and compares with Eddie Gray, who without any doubt is the man of the match and the man of the lead side. But really, the man of the match is yet to come. Who is going to score the winning goal? And how is it going to be made? I wouldn't like to predict it at this moment with all the computers in the world. Well, I think it certainly looks to me uh, odds on extra time now. With so little time left. Gray to take it up for Leeds. Clark, Harris clattering in behind him again. Gray 
not given enough time this time by a more determined looking Chelsea as Cook brings it away for them and Cook keeping it as well Webb Oh, straight to Bremner. Chelsea for the moment, not outnumbered, but four against four as Bremner goes in. And Woodward, good play there by McCready. Tommy Baldwin. Taken by Charlton. And a free kick. Baldwin was really brought down there by Jack Charlton and now with something like a minute plus injury time to go it looks very much as though we're going into extra time and not once in the 47 years of history of Wembley of Cup Finals has the match failed to be decided at Wembley if there is a replay it'll be at Old Trafford on April the 29th but with so much going on on this pitch, it's very premature indeed to start talking about replays. In fact, we are now in injury time. McCready a rather tired one, but Hutchinson to flick it on Bremner, and Dempsey was right up there too. Gray. Now Hunter. Webb, Chelsea feeling that the pendulum may have swung there a little bit, away there a little bit, making every second count now in injury time, Cook to turn it across and get a corner. Eric Jennings looking hard at his watch, the linesman signalled that the time is up, Cook with a corner, Webb right up and Dempsey right up. And now it's coming to Hausman with a shot! And a goal kick to Leeds. Hausman the score of that first Chelsea goal. And we stand at 2-2 now. And there goes the whistle for the end of the 90 minutes. The manager's quickly coming on to give a word or two of consolation, encouragement, tactical advice, whatever. And we face another 30 minutes. There'll be an extra half an hour's play, 15 minutes each way. And the teams will change over. There could be no, no credit really is too great for the way that Chelsea came back after being that 2-1 down with something like six minutes left there's Ron Stewart standing up the uh, assistant manager <laughs> at Chelsea and I think that's probably Eddie McCready I don't know but trying to get a bit of cramp out of his legs I would think but Chelsea so outplayed for so long and then a goal down and it's significant that on the Chelsea bench it looks as though Marvin Hinton might well be unzipping his uh, tracksuit top to come onto the pitch. There's Marvin Hinton with Paddy Mulligan with him. Another Chelsea reserve. And of course we uh, shall be staying, obviously, for the whole of extra time. What else could we do after such a really mammoth match? One of the great Wembley Cup finals. So Hinton quite clearly is coming on. And in fact, somebody is on that Chelsea bench. From this distance, I can't quite see who it is. Sitting down there, we can just see his... It looks like Ronnie Harris, the skipper. Harris, the skipper, who had the hamstring, of course, and was doubtful right up until yesterday, is coming off. And I can assure you that he is one man who would be loath to leave a battle like this but Chelsea are fortunate to have a substitute 
as qualified as Marvin Hinton, who played in their first team last Saturday against Spurs and played as well as anybody in their defence with some really superb defensive covering. Clark the number eight, Jack Charlton the number five. And Don Revy, an instant teach in there. Not that Leeds have done many things wrong in this match. In all honesty, they really haven't had the breaks. Eric Jennings, the referee, with uh, his two linesmen, with the uh, news from uh, Hampden Park that the full-time score now in the Scottish Cup final, Aberdeen 3, Celtic 1. So Aberdeen, winners of the Scottish Cup, and that really is a shock, both north and south of the border, I would think. And there's Peter Bonetti having a word with Les Cocker. I think Les Cocker might well be saying to him, for goodness sake, give us a chance there, Peter. They'll both be going to Mexico, of course. Les Cocker is an England trainer. Peter Bonetti is one of the England 28. What a magnificent game Bonetti has had. And in spite of that, I would still go for Eddie Gray so far as my man of the match. So Chelsea, in fact, to kick the way they were kicking in that second half. Fifteen minutes each way. A test of muscle and nerve from now on. Giles for Leeds United. To Paul Maidley. McCready hustling Jones off the ball. And a free kick given to Leeds United. McCready getting back into a defensive position. And it'll be Bremner to plant another high one into that Chelsea penalty area, where Jack Charlton, of course, is waiting. Osgood right back, Dempsey putting it away, but Baldwin getting it away only at the second go. Gray. The throw, in fact, given to uh, Leeds, which the crowd around there didn't like too much. Gray. A long one in the middle there, Dempsey to get it away. And now to Baldwin. A too casual flick, but he got away with it. Hutchinson to Baldwin again. The linesman keeping his flag down. Chelsea don't like it. But Cooper's not concerned, he's prepared to go on. And now Gray. Past Webb for, I'm afraid, the umpteenth time, you Chelsea fans. But Webb perhaps in determination, or rather desperation, giving away that free kick. Cooper. And now Hausman back to Burnett. Johnny Hollins. Cook has made a great burst through the middle and he's gone unnoticed and here is Cook but he couldn't quite play it for Baldwin and Maidley takes it up for Leeds United to Bremner driving forward to Lorimer here's Jones and with him Dempsey And a goal kick. Alan Clark. And a view from behind Peter Bonetti. From our camera at ground level as he takes this goal kick for Chelsea. And down goes uh, Hollins. And Giles is the man who is uh, getting the lecture. And 
certainly, uh, here's Bremner, but certainly uh, Chelsea could ill afford to lose this man, doubly so because Hollins is such a driving force in midfield for them. And secondly, of course, they've already got their substitute on, Marvin Hinton. very much as though the boot must have been fairly high up on uh, Hollins' thigh. <coughs> Jack Charlton hasn't missed much in the air tonight, or the, this afternoon either. I say tonight, but the way this game is dragging on, it looks as though it's going to go into the night as well. And I'm quite sure there'll be 100,000 people here sticking to watch it. Johnny Hollins all right again. And John Dempsey to take the kick. Webb's gone well forward. Hutchinson prepared to go for it. Handball, say Chelsea, and handball, says the referee, and a free kick to Chelsea. It will be Hollins to take it. Dempsey is right up. Webb has stayed up. Osgood and Hutchinson are waiting as well. And Dempsey going in, but big Jack Charlton getting above the lot of them. Houseman to McCready. Good cross there by McCready. And now Dempsey, just over! What a lovely little flick back though by Hutchinson for Dempsey, and he took it well, and Sprague took it even better. So a corner then for Chelsea. And Peter Hausman to take it. And Chelsea at last putting leads. Under pressure. Dempsey right there, Osgood right there. Hutchinson trying to force it home. And Lorimer happy to kick it to safety. Madeley. Only Jones is up with him. And now Clark. This is coming to the tormenting Gray. Hinton trying to force him on the outside, and Hausman, but he got it back well, Giles, all over the bar by Webb! What a saviour for Chelsea, David Webb was there! What a terrible afternoon he's had against uh, Eddie Gray, but Webb really did everything for Chelsea in that moment. Corner then to Leeds. Jack Charlton there again. Here comes the corner. Bonetti under pressure, but getting it above Charlton's head. Confrontation, Bonetti and Clark. Hunter. Lightman's flag up for Clark offside. Collins, who has a powerful free kick, to drive another one hard and forward towards Hutchinson. Baldwin beating Gray to it. Now Webb. Osgood. A little flick for Hollins. Hutchinson in there again in the thick of it, getting up to flick it on, but Hausman I don't think can quite get to it, and Charlton, as cool as you like, with Spring. All made. Norman Hunter. It's not often we've seen him venturing very uh, much further than the halfway line, but here he goes again, Hunter. To Lorimer. Clark at the far side, and he beat Hinton to it. Of course, it's going to be difficult for Marvin Hinton to come into an extra time period like this. Here's Clark to get into the rhythm of this game. It's always so difficult for a substitute, but it must be even more difficult in a cup final. Osgood to Cook. Baldwin will have to chase it, and Cooper's there in fairly close attendance. Baldwin against Cooper. And Cooper with help from Gray, getting it away for Leeds United, to Giles. 
Giles, uh, Gray again to Clark, and now Giles. A long one, and well kept in by Lorimer. No, he didn't keep it in because the linesman had his flag off, and so the throw goes to Chelsea. Beautiful pass there by Giles. It's lovely to see the way he works the middle of the field. He picks up as many missed passes from the other side almost as he gets from his own side. He's continually lurking there, reading the play and waiting to pick up the ball and then make that kind of devastating pass. Osgood. And Bremner to Jack Charlton. Charlton having a tussle there with Hausman. And Leeds getting the free kick. So it's Bremner. Maidley. Bremner to Lorimer. Clark. He slipped it forward hoping that Lorimer was going on, but Lorimer wasn't. And McCready, in fact runs towards that one and then starts limping very badly. Seems to be moving quite smoothly again there, but he really jolted to a halt. I should think little twinges of uh, cramp will affect these players from now on. Bremner losing out on that one. Hutchinson. In fact, Hutchinson being pulled back by Bremner. And McCready with the free kick. Hutchinson trying to get underneath it. And now Baldwin is there as well. But Leeds covering with Jack Charlton, finding Giles and now Bremner. And now Lorimer. Another player down in the, I think it's Norman Hunter, with a touch of cramp. Gary Sprake administering what help he can. Eddie Gray. Gray now inside for Cooper. Long one there towards Lorimer. Oh, good play there by Lorimer. And Clark was a little slow to go for it, so Baldwin is going instead. And now Bremner to Cooper. With a shot. And Vanetti body behind it all the way. And eyes on that ball from Cooper. Lorimer now feeling a twinge. He's down in that Chelsea penalty area. Leeds, in fact, in this extra time period, may just be suffering a little more, it seems. Is this an impression you've got, uh, Jimmy? Yes, I think it's inevitable that they will, because uh, you can't discount the matches that they've played this season, and apart from the rest they've had over the last few days, that backlog of matches and desperately tight matches, difficult matches, which you only have to play if you're champions and in championships all the while, is still going to affect them. It's a pity, Giles really, Hollins. in the excitement of extra time that uh, one does get cramped, but I don't think you can have both things. I think <laughs> it's at Wembley, when you do go over the 90 minutes, then you're bound to have stoppages while the players just react to this kind of muscle trouble that afflicts everybody. Word about Peter Osgood, it seemed there particularly as, just as if he wasn't trying, but sometimes as a footballer, the very day you want to produce your best, you just feel this list and can't do it, whatever you, whatever you try and do to yourself. Now it's Bremner then for Leeds United. A high one and Gray is waiting at the far side. Bonetti has missed it. And Webb getting his foot behind it. But in fact, uh, Bonetti was pushed as he jumped for that one. And so Chelsea get the free kick. Dempsey, Webb, 
to Osgood. Hutchinson nicely for Cook. Faced by Jack Charlton and Bremner supporting him. Osgood, but the linesman's flag is up. Gary Sprague with the kick. Clark. Cook Jones up with him. And Gray. Still Gray. And that cannoned off Marvin Hinton. But Bonetti is there for Chelsea. of course which has always been such a punishing pitch oh Webb missing that badly and now Giles Webb trying to correct it and now it's Jones and Dempsey getting it away but now Clark to Gray Lorimer at the far side heading it back in Clark all against the crossbar that's twice they've had it against the crossbar Bremner Lorimer again, been curling some good ones across, but McCready getting there first this time, and McCready down injured. As I was saying, Wembley always such a punishing pitch, even when it had that immaculate turf, but now with all this sand on it, making it so much more difficult for the players, particularly when you come into an extra time period, and it really has been non-stop for close on two hours now. getting towards the end of this first period of extra time in fact the time is up for the end of this first period but of course there have been these stoppages uh, for cramp which are inevitable and time must be added on for them well Leeds really have had none of the luck their supporters now getting behind them once more as they set up another corner by Eddie Gray under that crossbar Bonetti with his fists mainly with his head we haven't seen Paul Madeley coming forward too often And there goes the whistle for the end of the first period of extra time. They'll need to turn around fairly quickly. Uh, managers are not normally allowed to come on between the halves in extra time. There's the situation. Chelsea 2 leads 2. It would be a brave man who would uh, predict a final score. Although remember our computer predicted 3-2 to Leeds United. Leeds just grabbing a quick breather. As I was saying, they just look... A little the worse for wear, I think, in this uh, first period of extra time. <laughs> Ian Hutchinson having gone across for a word from uh, Harry Medhurst. Well, Viscount Lindley and Lord Snowden. They must be enjoying this. Viscount Lindley, we've seen his picture often enough in newspapers playing football for his Cubs. And I would think he's probably as excited by this match as any youngster sitting around any television set anywhere. Now it's Hollins as we start the second period of extra time. 15 minutes to go. Maidley. Bremner. Lorimer. Marvin Hinton to cover this one for Chelsea. A little slow to get that one away though. And it's Lorimer. Tackled from behind unfairly by this chap, Peter Hausman. Free kick then to Leeds.
Lorimer with the kick towards Mick Jones. <laughs> Webb getting there first. Cooper following it in. And now Osgood, Bremner. Hunter. Aim towards Lorimer. McCready coming towards him. Clark there. And Dempsey again getting in well for Chelsea. McCready away to Hutchinson. Osgood wanting a long one through the middle. Cook taking it up. Going past Jack Charlton with Hausman outside him. A promising looking situation this for Chelsea to Hausman now. The little chip from Hausman. Osgood going in the far side. Just past. Where Chelsea are so devastating with those little chips from Hausman. And he varies them so well. Sometimes those ones to the near... Osgood now turning the first aid man, sometimes towards that near post, which if a Chelsea man gets there first are unstoppable, and sometimes like that one towards the far post. He varies them well. I think we must give a little bit of credit there to Cooper for the way in which, although he was in desperate trouble, the way that cross was measured up in the air, he still managed to jump up with Osgood just enough to spoil his accuracy. And he's paid for it by going on the ground with Crump. Cooper, of course, one of the men going to Mexico. Another one there on the left, Peter Osgood. So nearly making that header count. Hinton again losing in the air there to Clark. But Charlton getting there first before Baldwin. A good physical tussle there, tussle there with Tommy Baldwin. He's a tough little character, and it's Baldwin with the throw to Cook. Cook going past Bremner. Now that really is significant. Still Cook. And Charlton smoothly and coolly back to spring. That really must be a sure sign that uh, the Leeds legs are just that shade heavier than Chelsea's by the way Cook went past Bremner. Now Lorimer. But Leeds, my goodness, their heart's in the right place and they've had none of the luck this afternoon. Hunter to bring it forward once more for them. To Johnny Giles. Still Giles. To Bremner. With one that never really looked like counting. to Hausman John Hollins with the throw for Chelsea not over the line and Hutchinson finds McCready Baldwin and Webb with a fair bit of space on the right. A cross there that looks for Osgood. Can Osgood turn on it? Hunter is there, and something has gone wrong for Chelsea. The whistle had gone. United and Giles taking it quickly finding Gray to Lorimer and now to Maidley McCready coming desperately across to cover but Maidley now turning it across there Jones trying to leap again and Bonetti just under that bar Hutchinson flicked on nicely now for Hausman only Baldwin is up. So Hausman holds it and finds Cook. Played for Peter Hausman again. Bremner mustn't let him slip. And a 
throw to Chelsea. Peter Hausman in a bit of trouble, but uh, off the pitch, Billy Bremner here. Oh, Hausman who is in trouble off the pitch with cramp, now goes onto the pitch and falls down, and I don't think uh, Eric Jennings will stand for that, making it perfectly clear that he will uh, take the time off. Peter Hausman with the free kick for Chelsea. A long and a deep one. Hutchinson's looking for it. But that's Gary Sprake. Eddie Gray. Dempsey to Webb. Osgood. Maidley. And now to Lorimer. Hunter. Still Hunter. For the shot of a tired man. When you shoot like that, Brian, that's the way, way you play back, you see, away from the goal. <laughs> He's obviously wisest to stay there during most of the game. Hutchinson again getting up so well for these balls, but uh, now it's Lorimer. To Norman Hunter. To Mick Jones. Still Jones. Bremner to support him. Giles trying to play the one-two and Cook. That was very cool. But it still hasn't got Chelsea out of trouble because it's Cooper. And Gray going past Webb again. Osgood doing what he can and doing enough to stop Gray but give away the corner. Jack Charlton. There he goes again. And Hutchinson going back with it. That's how it looks from behind the goal. And here comes the corner. A low one. And McCready putting it straight back again. Lorimer to lift it once more. And Hinton. But now Jones with a chance to put it back again. Giles is wide of him, but Jones preferring to put it in again. Jack Charlton stayed up. Webb getting it away. Not very far to Eddie Gray. And now McCready leaving it for Bonetti. Well, since the cup final came to Wembley in 1923, it's never yet needed a replay. The last replay, in fact, was in 1912. And that was when Barnsley beat West Bromwich Albion. Oh, Osgood too slow, with his hands on his knees and not looking, and Leeds were able to get in, but now Cook for Chelsea again. That's falling nicely for Hausman. And now McCready. Aim towards Hollins, getting it in. Sprink. And now Cooper. Billy Bremner. Maidley. To Giles. Clark calling for one at the near post, trying to get in before Hinton, and Hinton watched him and went with him. McCready. Baldwin. Charlton in behind him. And a throw to Chelsea. To Peter Hausman. Marvin Hinton. Hollins completely free on the right. 
And he wants it, but he won't get it. And Bremner really fighting for that ball and winning it. Jack Charlton to Bremner again. Hausman down with more of that cramp. And Clark putting Lorimer away. The Creedy to watch him. Webb to support him. But still Lorimer. And down goes Benetti. It's not away yet. Now it is through McCready. Nearly fooled at the near post there by that one, Peter Benetti. Cooper. And Cooper again. McCready. But only as far as Giles. Leeds continuing to dominate this cup final. But still 2-2. Clark and Gray, cannoned off Dempsey, Bremner trying to get in and Hutchinson getting it away. Hunter. To Cooper once more. What a player. Challenged by Cook. And it takes two to get it away from Terry Cooper. Cook eventually though, getting it to Baldwin. Played nice and square for Hollins. Now it's four Chelsea men against three from Leeds. Hutchinson. Hausman and Baldwin in the middle. That's going towards Baldwin. Hollins calling for it at the back. Hausman. Oh, great save by Spreek. But in fact, the whistle had gone for an infringement. Someone must have been offside there. Hausman still suffering from that cramp with his uh, shin guard. In his hand. McCready. Well, he did well to keep it in, but he might well lose it to Lorimer as he tries to pull Lorimer back. And in fact, the whistle already gone. The infringement had already been given for a foul on Eddie McCready. His, play, his face, as you could see a moment ago there, Absolutely, although he's smiling, a fair amount of agony and anxiety showing through as well. That's how it stands, with about three minutes of extra time to go. I don't think I've ever seen a pitch or a match or a season take so much toll of the players on the field. It really is, you're looking at them, they're all sagging, and it's the most I've seen in any match. And one wonders whether it's a sort of something happening in World Cup year when we really don't want to replay, we may well have to face one. Clark to Giles. And Holland's going through to cover, Hinton to get it away. Maidley. Norman Hunter. Clark to Gray once more to lift another one towards that Peter Benetti and Benetti again is equal to it when you think that Peter Benetti a goalkeeper of his class can't get into the England side because of Gordon Banks it'll just show you the depth of goalkeeping we've got in this country at the moment and now it's Osgood Hausman. Hausman again. Osgood trying to flick it on and uh, in fact flicking it wide of Hutchinson. Giles to take it up for Leeds. One to Lorimer. With so much room. Billy Bremner. Webb cutting it out before it gets to Giles. Referee looking at his watch. And now Baldwin. But three leads defenders are back. And a free kick to Chelsea. In injury time, in extra time. Could well be the last crisis for Leeds United now. 
and the last chance possibly for Chelsea to snatch this match Hollins to take the free kick and six players are up in that Chelsea in that to Leeds United penalty area Webb and Dempsey among them but the ball falling instead to Mick Jones watched by Hinton and beaten by Hinton and Hinton playing it safely back to Bonetti And there goes the whistle for the end of extra time. And for the first time since 1912, the FA Cup needs a replay. The first time since it came to Wembley, it needs a replay. Man of the match for my money, Eddie Gray, this brilliant number 11 for Leeds United. And not far behind him, of course, Peter Bonetti, superb and courageous in goal for Chelsea. 2-2 Two -two it stands. 2-2 two -two it finishes. And the replay, of course, is at Old Trafford on April the 29th.